some dogs are born with a really rare congenital defect. A majority of these dogs are born with a liver shunt outside of the liver, and big dogs tend to have their liver shunts inside of the liver, which is more rare. The surgery for a liver shunt inside of the liver is very tricky and a lot riskier. What we did is we developed a procedure where we could use a minimally invasive approach to the liver through their blood vessels in their neck, and then we can drop devices, coils, inside of that shunting vessel to kind of clot it so that it doesn't have blood flow through it anymore. It's called intrahepatic coil embolization. The liver is supposed to detoxify the blood of all the bad things from the intestinal tract, the colon, the spleen, and when the liver shunt is present, it bypasses the liver and goes straight into the heart. So all those toxins are going into circulation. And when that liver shunt is pushing blood fluid, the toxins start to build up. If left untreated, the big dogs with the shunts inside the liver oftentimes don't live very long with this condition. Um, most commonly, when they get very sick from it, they start to develop neurologic signs like seizures. Um, they don't gain weight, they're very small, their hair coat is not very pretty, so they have a lot of side effects from this. So traditionally, um, the surgery to approach this type of liver shunt is very scary. Uh, the blood vessel is surrounded by liver tissue and it's also surrounded by all the major blood vessels in the liver. So the surgery is wrought with complications, the main of which being potential life-threatening hemorrhage. Um, so when we open them up on the table, we're very concerned if we can even get to the vessel or if they'll make it through the procedure. The benefit of this technique is that it's minimally invasive, so we actually don't approach the vessels from the outside at all. We go through the vessels in their neck, and we use something called fluoroscopy, which is a technology that gives us um, real-time x-rays, essentially, so we can visualize those vessels in the body and find which one is the abnormal vessel and put the devices in it to close it off. Recovery time is pretty quick usually. Um, anesthesia is very hard on dogs with liver shunts, so oftentimes the recovery is limited by how well they're doing with anesthesia, but usually they're awake by the, that evening or the next day and they can go home within three to five days of surgery, usually within three. Most dogs, I would say six months to a year is all we would expect for a good quality of life for them with the liver shunt inside of the liver. With surgery, what we're seeing is that dogs can live multiple, multiple years, even up to normal lifespans. Oftentimes we can make their clinical signs a lot less and make them feel a lot better by doing the procedure. It's very difficult. Um, it requires very extensive training and really specialized equipment. Um, there are only a few uh, hospitals, institutions in the country that are even doing this technique, so we had to put together all the good minds in the hospital to develop it here. But um, most importantly, we came up with a, a room that will allow us to do this technique. So the room has all the specialized equipment that we need to do it now.